Greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We joy and welcome you to the 15th Sunday in Ordinary Time EAB with the team, Proclaim the Faith in Spite of Obstacles. Among the outstanding literary works of Europe, written by his first great poet, Homer, was the Iliad, about the siege of Troy by the Greeks. It tells how Cassandra, daughter of the king of Troy, was granted by the god Apollo the gift of being able to foretell events which we are sure to come. But because she had offended him, Apollo decreed also that nobody would believe her predictions. The more urgently she warned against future disasters, the more her prophecies were ignored by her people. They were not prepared to accept that their behavior, their actions, could in any way have tragic consequences. The Cassandra story may be a legend, but it seemed more like the reaction of the people of the northern kingdom of Israel to the warnings of the prophet Amos in today's first reading. It was a time when the economic situation of the time was flourishing. People were living well. Life was easy, though it favored only a few, just like we see in different countries like Nigeria. The living standards of the poor was not raised. There was idolatry and moral decadence. Amaziah was one of the beneficiaries of this good economy. He was exploiting and preaching what people want to hear. Oil my pocket so that I will oil your heads. Amos came to challenge the injustice and operation of his time. They banded against him. Go away, they said. We want no more of your style of prophesying. Amos was despised and rejected. Jesus also warned his disciples in today's gospel that people will also refuse to listen to them just as he himself was ignored, as we saw in last Sunday's reading. Rejection is not the end of mission. It is rather the reality of life that not every person will like you or what you do. We have also seen the corrupt Messiah. The fight against corruption starts from you and I. The way you rush to the bathtub to clean up the dirt on your skin is the way to begin. Begin from yourself, begin from your home, within and around you. After choosing his first four disciples, Peter, Andrew, James, and John, Jesus was next seen in the synagogue in Capernaum, confirmed Mark 1, 21-28. He delivered a man who was possessed. Next, he was seen in Peter's house, where he healed Peter's mother-in-law. He will restore the paralytic in Mark chapter 2. He healed several other sick people in Galilee. He was seen in the pagan territories in Decapolis, where he met the madman in the Gerasenes. He returned in his own country. After seeing sick people in Israel and outside Israel, Possessed people in Israel and outside Israel. Now he invites 12 people to collaborate with him. He gave them authority over unclean spirits and gave them instruction on what to take and what not to take. One of the things he told them to take was the staff. Why the staff? In Genesis 32 verse 10, Jacob told God, For with my staff I passed over this Jordan. Meaning, this staff was an instrument that accompanied one in his walk. It serves also as an instrument of protection or defense. What is your staff? Where do you find support when you are in distress or in trouble? In telling them not to carry anything, Jesus made them to understand that their success does not depend on what they carry, but on who is sending them. As Christians, bring only the essentials, your good life. A heart that forgives. Let your life be a living sermon. Finally, the gospel message is done in collaboration. Missionary work is a teamwork, not a solitary work. Never be satisfied working alone, anywhere. At some point, we will always need someone to cheer us up, encourage us, lift us up during the low moments of our lives, like the experience of Amos. Even though they were sent in pairs to different places, their message was one, repentance and the basilar to the, the kingdom of God. Let us ask God for the grace to unite as one family, irrespective of race or color, and work for the expansion of the road to heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.